Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Python Discord bot. We're going to start off building a very simple bot that have basic functionalities that will react to user messages. And in the next video, we're going to combine this bot with the stable diffusion software such that users on your Discord server can send in a prompt and then the bot will use stable diffusion to create images using that prompt and then send it back to the user. In order to create a Discord bot, there are only three steps. Step one is we have to fill out an application for the bot, and then we have to add the bot to the Discord server. And the third, which is the most important step, is that we have to code the logic for the bot in a programming language. For this video, we're going to use the Python programming language. Let's get started. First step, come to this URL, discord.com developers slash applications. You can find the link in the video description below. Once you're on this page, just click on the new application and give your bot a name. I'm going to call my bot tutorial one and make sure you check this and create. So here are some general information you can fill out for your bot. For this demo, I'm going to leave everything either default or blank. And on the left hand side panel, let's go to bot. And we have to add a bot. Then we should see a while bot has appeared. So now we have the bot and we need a token to run the bot. So here, click on reset token and yes, do it. And here I have a two-factor authentication enabled. So I'm just going to grab the authenticator key. This changes every time. So the authenticator I have is the Google authenticator. Um, you might have a different one, or maybe you don't even have the two-factor authentication enabled. In that case, you don't have to worry about the code. So here, this is the access token, and I'm just gonna copy it and store it somewhere safe for now. So for now, I'm gonna put it in a notepad right here then this is going to be a public bot and we need to enable the privilege gateway intents so some of you might know that discord had some drastic changes in its apis in the year 2001 2002 so most of the existing tutorials on discord python bot out there are kind of outdated and that's why i wanted to make this video to help you guys if you're interested in making a python discord bot so these intents are one of the major changes happened to the Discord API in 2021. And we must enable these intents in order to make our bot work. So I'm just going to check all three intents and then save. Once we're done this page, go to the OAuth2 tab. And in the URL generator, here we want to say that we are creating a bot it's almost always not a good idea to give your bot administrator privileges so try not to use this if you can and instead we'll just give the bot specific privileges or permissions so in this case we want the bot to be able to send messages and maybe create public threads private threads send messages so everything that related to message will be giving the bot the permissions for and we'll also give this read message permission. As I change the bot permission, the URL here down below changes. So once we're done with configuring the bot permission, we get this URL and we can copy that. And then just go into the URL that we just copied. And here you can specify which server you want to add this bot to. So in this case, I'm going to add it to the imaginary garden, which is the stable diffusion discourse server that I created. So then click on continue and make sure that these are indeed all the permissions that you want to give to the bot and then authorize. I'm a human. So now it says your bot has been authorized. Let's go to discourse server to check it out. So here I've created a private server just for testing purposes. And as you can see that this tutorial one bot, this is currently showing offline. That's because although we created this bot, this bot is currently inactive. To make it online, we have to write a Python code to run it. So basically this bot is soulless now and we have to give it a soul, which is the Python program. All right, now let's start writing the Python code for the bot. We'll need to use the discord.py Python library. And if you haven't installed it already, you can install it using pip. Inside the comment prompt, you can type pip install discord.py 
I'm not going to install it here because I've already done that on my computer. And here's the code. I'm going to walk through line by line what they mean. So the first two lines, we're just importing the libraries into our code. And the token here, this is where we want to store the token that we copied from the Discord developers page. Copy that token and put it in here. Note that you want to put this inside uh, two quotes because this is a string value. So in Python, a string value, you have to use quotes. Here, we're specifying the intent. So this is a default intent. And for the intent, we want to give the bot the message content intent. And we set that to be true. These intents are now required by the official Discord API. After 2022, our bot must have these intents in order to work with Discord. You can think of intents similar to permissions. So the bot will only work if we give them certain permissions. The next line of code here, we construct the bot object by setting this command prefix equal to dot. We're telling the bot that whenever user's message starts with the dot, then treat it as a comment. We'll talk about this command later on. We also need to pass the intents into the bot constructor. So we're actually missing one line here. I'm going to add it to all the way to the end of the code. Client.run and with the token. So this line here basically will start running the bot. Now let's talk about these functions. We have three functions here. The first function is on ready. So basically it means when the bot is online and ready, it will print in the comment line, bot ready. Then the second function is on message. Whenever a user types a message in the Discord server, the bot will print out the name of the user that typed the message. Also the message itself, as well as the channel that the message was in the final function here this is a hello function so basically this is a command as indicated here what this will do is whenever the user types the dot hello then the bot will respond by saying hello there and add or mention the username. I want to highlight the syntax here for all three functions. There are something in common here. First of all we need to use a decorator in front of all three functions so this at client.event or the add client dot comment. These are the decorators. And when defining the functions, we don't just use the DEF to define a function. Instead, we need to use the async dev to define the function because all these functions are, are asynchronous functions. If you want your bot to react to something that the user types, then you need to use the async Python functions. In Python, basically a decorator will give additional functionalities to a function. So here, for example, the first to add client.event, you can think of this as if the bot is always listening to some sort of event happening. And then for the first one, whenever the bot is ready, when that ready event is triggered, then the bot will just print out bot ready. And the second one, whenever there's a new message in the channel and the bot sees that message, then that's an event. Then the bot will print out another message. That's kind of how the at client.event works. And the second type of decorator here, this at client.command, this is basically turning this function into a command. And what that means is when you have this implemented and you also specify the command prefix is the dot symbol. And when your bot sees a user types dot hello, in the channel, the bot is going to respond to that comment. Now I've explained how these functions work. Why don't we take a look at them in action? Let's run this bot and see how it works. First of all, I'm going to activate my virtual environment. So let me resize my windows so that you can see the code and the Discord side by side. All right, so now I'm in this test private server. And as you can see, the tutorial one bot is still offline right now. And that's because we haven't start running the bot. So it's inactive. Let's type this command to start running the bot so python bot test.py and as you can see the bot now is online and when the bot is online and ready to go it will print out this bot ready sentence and this is done by this function here and here you see two other new messages this is because right now this bot is inside the stable diffusion discord server that i have and then there are some users that just typed some command and that's why you see all these messages and these messages are coming from this second function here. So basically, whenever a user types a message into the Discord channel, then it's going to print out the author's name, the message content, and also the channel ID that the message was sent to. So for example, here, if I say, hello world, then you can see this is my username, my Discord username. 
This is my actual message content. This is the, the channel ID for this test channel. So that's how that works. And I want to show you one thing here. So if you leave the code as is now and you type the dot hello, My tutorial one bot is not going to respond to you. This is another bot. This is the bot that's currently working for stable diffusion. It means that this function here is not activated. And the reason of that is because we have this on message function here. So let's remove this on message function and I'm going to save the code. I'll have to rerun the code and I'm actually going to grab the channel ID. So this is the message that I typed in this channel and I know that this is the channel ID for this particular test channel. So I'm going to replace this ID here. This is a previous testing channel that I created. So I'm going to replace this with the current testing channel ID and save that. Yeah, we need to stop the script. So if you need to stop the script, just inside your terminal and then press control and C. You might need to press it a couple of times so then it will exit out of the program. I'm going to rerun the bot. As you see, the bot is ready and the bot is online. So now if we type hello, our bot respond with hello there, then add my ID. All right. So if you have followed through to this point and got your Python Discord bot running successfully, good job to you. And that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to combine the bot and stable diffusion so that we can make a stable diffusion bot on Discord. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.